Have you guys ever wanted to read a really interesting mystery novel, but with the addition of music and anime character sprites and designs? That's Umineko, and I'm going to tell you five reasons I think you should read Umineko in its visual novel format. Hey guys, it's Liv, and welcome to Project Nerd, where nearly everything is reviewed and discussed. Today, I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite series or games, novels? What, what exactly is it? My favorite visual novel, Umineko When They Cry. Before I get any further, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to our channel and also hit the bell icon to stay notified of all of our new content. Here are five reasons I think you should check out Umineko. Number one, the mystery. The story is all about the wealthy Ushiromiya family, who has a family conference on their private island, Rokijima, Rokijima? <laughs> every year, I don't know how to pronounce it, I'm doing my best, every year, where they need to choose who's going to be the next head of the house after Kinzo eventually passes. And to make things even more confusing, there's the legend of Beatrice the Golden Witch who's basically rumored to have given Kinzo the family fortune in gold many, many years ago. And there is a strange epitaph riddle in the home from the supposed witch Beatrice, where if someone could solve this epitaph, this riddle, that they would become the next head of the family. Then a typhoon happens and traps the 18 people on the island, where the following murders that match what the witch's epitaph is saying. but. Who's the culprit? Is it a human? Or is it magic? Following the story and its eight different games, things start to things start over and over again in different versions. So it's really fun to try to figure out who or what did it and if it's magic. Is the magic real? Is it an illusion? Um, there isn't as much of just a simple mystery that's very straightforward. You have to read all the different ones and need to consider all of the options. Number two is the music. The music is one of the main reasons to recommend the visual novel over the manga. <laughs> the instrumental music is so beautiful and haunting at the same time. There are so many different songs and you know, instrumentals that match the tone of what the story is happening, what's happening in the story at the time. It really helps to set the mood and it just elevates the experience of reading. Number three is the character designs. The witches especially have really amazing character designs. I love how Regal and Beatrice and Virgilia both look, but their facial expressions are so horrible and match how twisted they really are as people or witches, you know. <laughs> just so you know, when I mention the witches, yes, they're in the game, but that's just for the sake of possibilities. We don't know if they're actually real or not in the mind and everything of the actual characters and what, you know, you can't always believe what you see. Anyway, the character designs can help you tell who's a family member, who's a servant, and who's a witch. It's really distinctive and really cool, and I love the family crest. It's so cool. Number four is the format. Because the mystery repeats again and again in a loop, we have variations and we get to learn more about the various characters, their motivations, their motives, their struggles, and just their stories. We get really in depth with the struggle in Maria's life, for example, and how she handles you know, her mom and everything. And that might contrast with Natsuhi and why she acts the way she does, you know, why she's so concerned about what she is. Number five is the fandom. The fandom is actually one of the most chill and laid back fandoms I've ever been in. Everyone I've met is so nice and welcoming and that's probably because it's so small. But everyone in it is so awesome and really amazing to bond over the series to talk with them and talk about your theories and just your love of the characters and the series. I've met a really cool group of people because of Umineko once at a con and we're still in touch to this day. So just the fact that that was about like six years ago, that's 
five to six years ago. That's really amazing. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe if you aren't already. And today's question of the day is, have you ever played a visual novel? And if so, leave your favorite in the comments below. I'm Liv and this is Project Nerd and we will see you next time.